Things can get tough, and the weather can really deal you blows, and it can deal you multi-year blows. And so you've got to be very defensive economically so you can be there for the long run for your land. Drought touches all aspects of our economy. During periods of drought in South Carolina, the, the crabbing becomes more difficult. The catches are in decline because of the drought conditions. Over the last decade, extreme droughts have struck most regions of the nation. The 2012 Great Plains drought closed parts of the Mississippi River at least three times and cost the nation at least $35 billion in agricultural losses alone. In 2014 and 15, the California drought was at its worst. Hydropower losses alone reached nearly $2 billion. Long-term impacts included catastrophic fires with over 100 deaths in 2018 and $16.5 billion in damages. In 2016, New York and New England experienced drought conditions not seen there since the 1960s. The 2017 drought of the Northern Plains led to $2.6 billion in agricultural losses. The 2017 to 18 Southwest drought contributed to an intense fire season in Colorado, led to an increase in groundwater pumping and water hauling across Arizona, and dried up parts of the Rio Grande in New Mexico. These events have further strengthened our need to take action to prepare for and respond to the onset and impacts of drought. It's extremely important uh, for our uh, economy, for our business and industry, and our quality of life to be able to better um, predict and have early warnings of the onset of drought, uh, how long we might expect that drought to uh, last, how severe we expect that drought to be. Since 2012, a number of programs and partnerships have launched to help predict and manage drought impacts across the nation. All of those partnerships, programs, and plans result in earlier drought warning, better response, and long-term resilience. Today, 46 states have drought plans. There's a need to, to make long-range planning. And in those times, I, I look at uh, the NOAA sites that uh, come out once a month that uh, forecast the next month and further down. We make real decisions off that and we put real money on those forecasts. While much progress has been made, there's still work to be done. Because even when there's plentiful rain and even floods, we've learned the next drought is likely on the way.